What's going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And guys, I just want to give you a quick update on some of the new stuff that's in the game today. Uh, we do have all Madden packs currently in the game, all Madden bundles as well, of course. Go on over here, check them out. They're 35,000 coins. Uh, let's take a look at the actual bundle here, see what the topper is. So it contains four all Madden packs and one bun bundle topper that guarantees two random NFL draft team collectibles. So you don't get the ones that just say NFL draft that you get in like, you know, standard pro packs pretty regularly. You're actually getting the ones with the team logos on them. So uh, that's a pretty good deal, I have to say. Uh, I think that for, you know, 20 bucks, that's actually not that bad, especially considering that we could see some of the these draft players ranked really really high in their overall like last year obviously there was like the Johnny Manziel card and, and uh, you know a few others that were actually worth a good amount so it's very very possible that we could see some high 90 overall cards in this year's Madden from the draft so if you, that happens and you finish those sets you will actually get those cards as far as I understand it so um, that could be that could be good or it could be completely terrible you could get like I got um, I think it was I think I got the bills and if I remember correctly the bills don't have a first round pick so uh, that's pretty bad luck for me but uh, you know they could still trade up into the first round hypothetically but anyway um, like I said the all Madden packs are in the game right now uh, they're guaranteed to give you one team of the week or football outsider uh, outsiders player uh, at least three gold or elite players and then a mix of six other player or team items and then uh, one guaranteed NFL draft badge as well so you know if you're looking to do those NFL draft sets I definitely would go with these all Madden packs other than that though um, as far as like the actual players that you can pull eh, maybe not right now there's not a whole lot out there to be completely honest with you that you can pull the one thing that is out there right now, though, is a brand new item that they released into the game. If you guys don't know, uh, the running back Maurice Jones-Drew actually retired today. So uh, there is a prime time Maurice Jones-Drew in packs right now. This is a 24-hour item as far as I understand it. And uh, it's very similar to like the Peyton Manning one that they released earlier in the year. And I think that they released a few others throughout the year as well. But uh, let's go over here and take a look at the attributes of that Maurice Jones-Drew and see what it's kind of going for right now in the auction block. Uh, last time that I looked, there was only one up and it was going for a lot. Um, so give me just a second here. I want to make sure that I pull up the right player. Got halfback elite. And I'm going to type in Drew for Maurice Jones Drew. Yeah, so there's the only, there's only this one up right now for buy it now, 814,000 coins. That's way overpriced. Um, I've looked online and I, I've been trying to pay attention throughout the day as well. Uh, this thing's going for more around 275 to 300,000 on the PlayStation 4. It is creeping up to around 400,000 on the Xbox One, but it really shouldn't be anywhere near this price on any console. So I don't think that this will probably sell unless someone is super thirsty for this card. And then, uh, you know, then it's the only one up, so they kind of have to buy it. But let's take a look at this card here and compare it to my current running back. Um, I have the uh, Ultimate Legend Marshawn Lynch, uh, or whatever you want to call it, the Ultimate Team Marshawn Lynch. I, I always say Ultimate Legend. I don't know if that's actually the, the right description for it or what. But um, this card actually compares, you know, fairly close to it, to be completely honest with you. It actually has about the same speed. It's only one lower, but it's actually one faster in acceleration. So, you know, the speed is going to be roughly the same. Better agility, the awareness is roughly the same, the carrying is roughly the same. Ball carrier vision, Marshawn does have him beat, and then of course in elusiveness they are the exact same. Trucking, you would expect that Mar Marshawn Lynch is going to be ahead of Maurice Jones-Drew in that, but Jones-Drew has awesome trucking in his own right with a 95. So definitely a good card, guys. Um, and then let's go in here and take a look at some of these other more hidden attributes, the catching. Jones Drew is way better in catching 85 versus a 76. Uh, if you guys don't know, he was actually kind of a beast in college at catching passes as well. Uh, and then early in his career, he caught a lot of passes as well. So let's see here. What else do we got? Uh, looseness. We already looked at all these. Stiff arm. Marshawn's a little bit higher in stiff arm. He's going to be better in most of these power things, I would imagine. Yeah, Jones Drew does have a little bit better stiff, stiff arm. They're about the same in juke move. One difference on each of those. Uh, impact block. So Marshawn is definitely better at impact block. Kind of surprised to see Jones Drew down there at a 25 for an impact block because I specifically remember one occasion earlier in his career, uh, Sean Merriman was coming off the edge to try and get a sack and Jones Drew lifted him up and sat him on his ass with a block. So uh, that kind of surprises me that they would give him that low of an impact block, especially when you see that average. Uh, the average, I don't even know what it is, probably around 45 or so, somewhere in that range. Yeah, something like that, I guess, probably, for um, 
uh, for the actual impact block at the position. So he's significantly lower than the average at that at that attribute. But you know, we're not really that worried about it. The only thing that we really care about is him being able to pass protect. So um, you know, and even if you care about that, not everybody even cares about that stuff. Let's see here, pursuit. We don't care about that. Injury. Yeah, he's a little bit low on the injury, but that I mean, he'd probably be okay for the most part. The stamina. That's interesting. He has a 99 stamina versus Marshawn Lynch being only at a 92. Uh, 92. So I mean, that's pretty significant to be honest with you. I know uh, one thing that I disliked about my Chris Johnson that I had for a while is that he seemed to be tired constantly. So that would actually be pretty nice to have Jones Drew basically not get tired. Then uh, spec catch and catch and traffic, as you can imagine, are going to be higher for Jones Drew as well as route running versus Marshawn Lynch. He's not really known for that. Uh, release, yeah, he's higher in release as well. So, you know, overall, I, I definitely think that this is a, a very, very good running back card. Um, you know, for it not being a 99 overall, I think that it's pro it might be the best 98 overall running back in the game. And it might be better for some people than a lot of the 99 overall running backs, to be honest with you. So uh, definitely go out there and see what this thing's going for uh, currently on on the auction block whenever you get on. Uh, check, tell me in other consoles as well. If you guys play on PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, what is this thing going for? I'm kind of interested to know because it seems to be going for a very wild amount of prices. Way down and then way up and uh, way down. So I'm not exactly sure. And, and then I want to show you guys too the pass block, just the pure pass block attribute, which is the one that we care about. Jones Drew is a little bit lower than Marshawn Lynch. Uh, I kind of surprised by that not not that Marshawn's a bad pass protector by any means but um, I would just think Jones Drew is going to be better than him because of some of those highlight blocks that he made early in his career but anyway though that is going to do it for this video today guys hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please be sure to hit that like button of course be sure to press the subscribe button if you're new and you guys enjoyed the video um, thank you so much for all the support good luck pulling this Maurice Jones Drew today and good luck pulling some awesome draft collectibles as well Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later.